Okay, uh, today we are going to talk about uh, how to change the or to repair the star clutch in a uh, KC 650 1978. As you can see, I, I have a, a manual that I got from internet. Um, I removed the tank, I removed the battery because we are going to lay this bike and I already removed the the exhaust uh, because we are we don't need to have the we need to remove this the exhaust the cover the clutch cover um, and also uh, we're going to remove uh, all this area that, uh, where it has the clutch uh, and rod for the transmission so here with me is Susie and my other bikes um, but this is my my favorite so I already removed this one I put the cover over here we removed the foot stand stud kick start star, and I have here some tools that I will need um, I have a all, all kind of uh, tools so I have also over there in case I need it uh, I have pads I have my instructions as you can see the name of the bike is Ronya 78 why because in Spanish Ronya means junk when I bought it it was a junk and then I, this is my gas tank and yeah I like it and so I, I like to spend time here so I will leave the video here, um, static, what we are going to do is according to the instructions, uh, we are going to remove um, the clutch and please like my video because I, I do it for fun, I enjoy doing this, I think uh, it helps people, um, some of the videos help me, so this is the part where, where we are going to remove only the left the right side of the bike then we will need to to lay the bike down and remove the other one so i will do another video for that and then how to repair the oh, i'm sorry this is not the no. we have to use an m10 they are not too tight we are going to do crossing to, move, to remove them is not too important. I removed the the, the clutch pad uh, before, uh, and it, it was okay, but I made a mistake. I left the stud that uh, tied the clutch uh, too tight, so I was riding and about, at about uh, 50 miles per hour, and then I wanted to go faster, and then I was uh, shifting gears, and then the, the bike was all the time and so what I did, I made a mistake, it was too tight, it was clutching while I was driving, so I think I burned this clutch, so I have a new one that I will replace and we are going to see it uh, once we are done. As I said, these ones are not too tight, so I'm going to replace when it's everything assembled, I will replace it with a new one, original one, you can buy different brands and different types, but I went to the original one from Kawasaki because um, I think that I don't, if something is not very good in the other one, I don't want to open the, the case again, replace the gasket, that every time I remove them are worn. What these springs does 
is as the motor is spinning uh, in order for the motor not to move the tire it will be open whenever you push the, the clutch it will push all all the discs uh, against the transmission and the power will be transmitted to the chain so that's what the clutch does so now uh, we're going to remove this cover and you see it comes with all the all the clutch or I can move only the cover and I will put it aside and then I will move all the the clutch pads in the same at the same time because I want to keep a record of how they go I will clean all this everything again and replace the so I will put this here in the bottom in the, at the floor and then I will remove all the the disc uh, instructions uh, you can see where you have uh, the brake is on the way so we have a, a pad and we, and we have a, a, a pad and then a metal disc a pad a metal disc Oops. so here are all of them and I will put, put them in the same way they came with all the components so this is the way it came and we're going to keep it safe here so now we go back to here make sure that um, you remove this the pusher as I said in the other side of this is where the cable go goes and that's why you have an adjuster uh, I don't know if you can see it here and goes directly to the clutch leveler you pull this and inside there there will be a a, a metal ball I, will, I put it in the same way it was I don't know if I, if I can lay the bike this way in order for the bo little ball to come Okay, what I will do, do is I will use a magnet to see if I can get it from here. The magnet that I have is, is too big, so it's not going to make it to, to remove it, but we're going to be able to remove it anyway. That, that one looks like, let me show you. I, I did it before I changed the clutch but i want the, that you see it so in order you see okay now so you see this is the motor it spins and when the clutch is pushed everything moves together this one that goes to the primary chain and this one so now what we are going to do is we're going to remove this and I need to I will put pause in order to get the, the correct tool to move and then I may need to as I said uh, this goes directly to the motor and what I will do um, I will put a first gear so it doesn't move anymore pause okay <clears throat> so I have the tool and this is not a very common tool it's a 20 millimeters I'm sorry for the angle 30 millimeters and it goes here and I was wrong uh, if you move if you, you, you put it here it will move the tire so that I put it in gear and it didn't work so what I will do because it's already on gear I will put it to loose but I will press the brake <clears throat> it's tough Okay. It has 
a little bit of play, but it's good. Take a look, here's the knot, then there is a washer, and it says, these Japanese guys were pretty good, it says, outer. Now we can remove the whole assembly. I'm just looking at something. We have some cracks. But I think it is because of this jury. Yeah, it's just oil. And then if you have uh, any questions uh, about how it goes, uh, you can always go to the manual. No, in, in I can share if you want or you can give it to me. So what I will do, these ones like this and I will remove it. There is another washer That's it. that is going here and then this comes. So this is a bit heavier but because it has a, a, a gear on it. So I will put it with the other ones and also here this very bearing uh, I replaced it last time that I, I bought it has a bearing and a bushing so both of them I will keep them here inside see we want to keep everything uh, and then we have a bush uh, another washer that goes directly to here and this washer doesn't have a um, an outer sign but it does has a shape so be careful with this it came like this what it's trying to do is to to be flat here where we have the contact and in order to have only uh, this angle or this bushing or this yeah the, the angle is in order to to make contact with the bearing so now it's here as well okay so now we get to a better area. So I will, I have a, I, I bought from AutoZone Car Cleaner and I will be spraying once in a while just to remove some of the, the, the oil. Because then if you are going to do this kind of job, the cleaner the better. So you see how you have some, some uh, areas where they are dirty. So, for example, let's say this. Now it's cleaner. Over here you can see some stain. Sorry. So, all the, oh, yeah, we are going to, to, to have this clean. We are going to remove all the gasket. And the cleaner, the better. You see? All the deposits of oil, dust. And I think I did a lot of damage when I was using the the bike in the wrong conditions so we have uh, the gasket here that we have to throw away every time that you remove it you see but I'm not going to show too much about the, the gasket because we know that you have to replace it okay so ah sorry uh, so continuing with this um, I made an edit because according to the manual, uh, I thought we need to remove this one and I just read that we don't need to move this one. So if we are going to move it, um, I will do it later, but according to, to this, um, to the manual it says that 
uh, that he removed it and uh, it's, it was not necessary. So he says that the next step uh, is to remove the uh, the, uh, the other stuff. Um, so I will leave this alone. Um, also, I tried to remove it, but oh my God, it's, it's, way, it's so difficult. Um, take a look. This has a, a point here, here and up here, and then the other one, and that lock it so you don't move them that easy. So, okay. So it, now the one that we are going to move is this one to remove, and it's going to be for the next, uh, the next one. So, oh, I was going to use a. Uh, a dice but this my dice are too thick and they don't oh it fits so now i'm going to use an extension because i haven't removed the brake if i don't need to i'm not going to do it this is easy to remove According to the manual, this holds the oil pump. It has uh, this stud, and it doesn't have any washer. Okay, uh, I will keep it in my, with my other studs. Uh, so, as now, this is everything that I need to do on this end. Uh, according to to what I read. And the next step is to lay the the bike to the left side in order to remove the gasket, uh, the oil pan. Okay, I will keep you post. Okay, now what, what I will do is to lay the pan. Okay, I will uh, cut this video and continue when I'm ready to work in the old pan removal. Old pan, I'm sorry. Okay, now we are going to remove the oil pan. The oil pan has several studs, I think are 11, but first I will remove the oil filter. This should come pretty easy, and more oil will drop, so that's why I have a pads and everything here too. You can hear when it's getting a little bit. You see? So, what I did, I hit only the edge and it has nothing to do with any any kind of uh, ma mashing matting surface or something that can damage the area so now that it's loose it's easy, easier easier to to move it you see it came out oh and making a mess but see see 
What is inside? Something red? I, I don't know where is that coming from. And we have a lot of dirt. I'm cleaning here. So you can see, this is not too good. It has a lot of residues, like mud. So, you see all this? It has like debris. So it will be important to, to clean everything. The gasket looks pretty good, but I will replace it anyway. And this red thing, oh, I think it is from the sprays that you use to clean uh, that carb cleaner or something like that. So I think I dropped it when I, when I was cleaning. So, so now this is our uh, oil pump. As you can see, he was making his job. So now I want to see some to do something. Uh, so I have a, a nice, a good magnet. Uh, this magnet is dirty, but now it's super clean. Now it's clean. I, I'm sorry. And I will see what of this is metallics. It seems that, not, that I don't have any kind of magnetic uh, dirt. I mean, the, the motor inside looks pretty dirty. Uh, take a look, this is like rag or something. So I'm glad that I did all this or that I'm doing it. Let's see how it goes. Um, let's see in the old pan if we have any kind of metals it doesn't seems to be it's only dirt so b before i did the, the change uh, of the oil removal of the oil also what i did oh this is a magnet so you, you know uh, so what i did uh, uh, was to put a um, motor flush I don't know how good are they, but uh, for my case, it was good because I knew what I was doing. I knew that I was going to clean everything, to remove all the dust, all the all the all the things that are inside, uh, and then wash it out and make sure that everything is done good. So, in order to now, the next step is to remove the. To, to remove the old pan Acqu according to what we knew we need um, is to remove one of the ones that are aside but I already remove it in in the, in the, in the begin at the beginning of the video so now I have to to take a look what is needed. Um, uh oh, it seems like I will need to remove the the stud at the top because what I'm seeing here is. What I'm seeing here is this one, this one, one goes with this and two with this. So I am afraid that I will need a special tool because this is very, very tight. It has a this is thoughts if you can take a look 
it has a dot uh, i cannot point it because I, i'm looking at the lens but if we take a look it has a point here a point in the other one and another point or dot sorry do you see this one so those ones i tried before and they are way too difficult to remove I, I will need uh, like an impact drive or something like that so I want to see if there is another option to remove it uh, I don't know from the bottom I will take a look it doesn't show So I will put pause until I figure it out because as I told you this is my first time and I'm looking at the video that I have so in order to make sure that I can do this safely okay pause okay uh, so I'm trying to remove the the old pump but it's it's very difficult because this studs has a, a a dot or a point and it makes it very difficult as you can see i tried a bit and it's way too hard um i may need an impact driver or an impact screwdriver that i don't have so i will try to get it uh, with a friend that i think he may have and and then what I'm seeing right now is we have to remove one, two, and three. And then we are going to need to remove um, the body light. We will need to remove this, this shaft. So I, I will need to go to the right cover. I'm sorry. Uh, to the cover from here. So it can move either either way i think it, it has, to, has to go down oh okay so if oh so what i'm thinking right now is if this has to go down because here it's not going to be able to go if we have to go down that i don't know either and uh, yeah we have a, uh, the other bearing here but i will do more investigation so we can go from there so i'm sorry for this but i told you this is my first time and we have to do this right this right and if you want to avo avoid watching this you can always uh, skip 10 seconds by pushing a bit thank you and i come back i will come back okay so today we are continuing with the removal of the studs as we remember these ones has a dot over here this one uh, make it very hard to remove I already removed this one uh, or loosen it but I want to show you what I bought so I went to Amazon and there are two two kinds of um, impact screwdriver okay so there are three eighths or half inch drive so it comes with um, this this brand is Tecton. I think it's a very good brand. Uh, I bought it. Um, you can buy it in Harbor Freight for nine dollars, uh, a similar one, or you can buy the one that uh, this one that is a better brand in my opinion has better uh, better bits, bigger, uh, more st stronger ones, and and this one is a tool as you can see. It is very, it, it is very tough. Uh, you can, it's heavy. You can feel how, how good it is. So what something that is important here is that you can see the L to loose, and it's showing an arrow to the right, or right, left, and right. I don't know what is the letter, but in order to to lose the screw, you have to turn it that way. 
So it's already there. And if you want to tight, just go to the other side. And now it's, it's the other way. But as we want to lose the studs, we put it this way. So what it does when the, as you can see, there is a red mark because I, 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 I was not sure what it was going to do. Oh, this tool, you can use it just the, the square for a dice or whatever to remove. Let's say that you want to remove this one. You get the correct die, uh, dice, put it here and poof, let, you, you can remove it. So we, we put this here and then we put the bit. So what it does is at the moment that you hit this, it will make a twist, but it will make it until you give a hard hit to the to to the top. So now um, I practice with with one. I will put it here in order to see um, the big picture of how how I do it. And I will use this mallet. Um, it's a badass mallet, and I'm going to put it just there. You see how the bit uh, fits perfect. Is the perfect size, so and we we can see how it is in the point. In this point is is there. So let's do this. It fits great. The brake is a bit on on my way, but still. So what you have to do is to to get it tight, so it doesn't rotate. And now I will focus the. The phone. Now we do it. Be careful with your hands. One, two, three. It didn't move because my hand is is a bit loose, so I have to make sure that I don't rotate. Okay, now the, the important thing here is to break that little dot. So you see it moves just one mil, one millimeter that moves is great because now you can just do it like, like a regular ma uh, uh, driver or screwdriver. Let me see. Yes, now it's loose, you see. That that's what they call the long screw. So I will leave it here because I want to make sure that uh, this stud goes to this hole, the other to this hole, and the the third one to the other hole. So now I will put it closer to the to the stud. I will make I will try to put it in a good position that you can see. I'm sorry. Oh, I have uh, I have a golden, and she's all over the place. So uh, I'm sorry. I will try to make it fit in a way that you can see where I hit it. Hit the third one. Okay. I'm sorry, but I want to make sure that you can see it. Correct. I don't know how to hold it, I'm sorry. So I will, what about this? So, so, I will put another light so it doesn't have a shadow. So now I will put the, the bit on it. Mm. Mm. This, all these kind of things on the motorcycle is always difficult to to fit. But you know, I told you this is my first time doing this job, and I'm just trying to show you.
Okay, this is the closest, so I don't make you lose too much time in my video. Okay, so I hold it. Perfect, perfect. So it is getting loose. So you see, this is the other long screw. And as, as I am removing, I can see that the oil pump is getting So as I said, you can buy um, good tools or for some, some situations you can buy um, whatever tool. So for this, uh, so we'll, and as soon as I'm losing it, the pump, the oil pump is getting loose. So something that is very important is that the bit goes fit pretty good in the stud. I will try to focus. Yeah, if you make it fit properly, you you are going to protect your stud and everything so this is zero movement and the beat is still perfect okay uh, so i will leave it in the same position so we can continue with this um, now as i know as i think this pump is ready to go out okay now we have the water the old pump in a very uh, good shape it's a bit dirty you can see here but what is important here is that everything works what it does is sucks the oil to here through the filter that we have that is already pretty dirty this one we are going to clean it later you see how bad it is so this is the oil pump has a nice eagle or some kind of sign over there uh, see uh, a gasket and this is when it rotates it pumps the oil up so the oil can go directly to the upper cylinder okay so now we are going to have uh, let me go down a bit Now we have okay. Now we have a better view or the gears. Um, you see inside. This is the longest screw that is holding the um, the the oil pump. This is the body that we are going to move because what we are looking is is here or in this area. So now. Um, I'm going to put a pause because I'm, I am not sure how to proceed. Uh, I think that we can pull everything up, but nothing moves. So I don't know what is going to happen in the bottom. So I will investigate and then come back. But yeah, you can see inside the mechanism, gears, transmission. And inside it looks pretty pretty clean okay I pause 
Okay, so in order to remove the center shaft, the left hand so what I will do, I will remove all these studs and I will put paws so you don't see all that much or I will do fast forwarding. Okay, so we removed the cover as you can see um, this is the left side cover what we're going to do now we're going to remove the the cover that is for this shaft we can see that we have some wiring here so we have to be careful um, hopefully these are not too tight if not I have a great tool that is the impact wrench um, so let's see it's tight Let's see if I can do this. Good. And the other one is too tight. But it's good. So as you can see, it's easy to it's not big deal to remove this one. We we'll remove one and remove the other one. We can leave the this uh, I don't know this metal piece of piece uh, piece of metal that is for uh, for the wiring, and then we we'll remove this cover. We may need to use some kind of leverage. So for that I will use the screwdriver, flat screwdriver, it's moving, it's moving, so in here it's only a cover and we have a, I put some kind of glue before just to make it, to seal it, you may not need to do that but I, I'm just, I used to work in a in a, in a company and making sure that there is no leaks is very important and and I think it's, it is important so I put like an extra glue and that kind of stuff over the the o-ring you see but yeah I didn't have any kind of uh, loop issues before or leaks so good uh, now this one is the one that has to be pushed to the other side in order to go underneath and then release the uh, the the starter clutch so as i saw in the video we can hit this from here with a, a rubber mallet so we don't damage anything and then push it so we'll see how it goes let me get the, the hammer i will put this here i, sh I don't think it's going to hurt It's moving a bit. You see now it's even. I would like to take a look in the be in the bottom, just to see how it's moving. But I I, I think it has to go all over the way. You see, we are pushing the bearing. The bearing. This one is going is moving out. So we are going to keep doing it until it's gone. It is through.
okay i felt it felt it it went good i didn't damage anything let's see the mm. other side okay now it's perfect you see how bad how out it is and we can see the other gears so now i will put pause or interrupt this one and lean the bike again because I need to put it back uh, so I can have access to the bottom of the bike. Okay, now that the bike is leaning down again, uh, I will remove this, the oil plate that will collect all the oil and I will put it again to this I will bring my light four dollars harbor freight and it's do, do good Ooh. so so now we have this that is loose, you see? What we have to do is to remove this. We can, oh, I, the whole shaft is coming out. So I want to make sure that, it, that there is nothing on the way or like a shim or something that we have to, to take care of. Yeah, here is a shim. Okay, I will remove it and see what happens. Okay, we have one. We have this one. I will put it. This is this is important. So I will put this here. Then I will remove the plate. And these gears goes. This goes like this. Then you can see that this is loose. Oh, it's because we have another a barrel, a, a bearing that goes here. Okay, now we have everything in place. Now we have our nice and beautiful star clutch here. This is the one. So what we need to do is to, I will release the camera again. Okay, now we have it. You see all this nice green concept so okay we have this here uh, I will take a look if I need to buy the bearing that is there it's not too expensive I think that those are uh, about $20 so if you are this deep in the motorcycle I think it's a good time to change it so now we have this gear this is the starter clutch you see this barrel this barrel and this barrel when the when the bike
I started clutch on in my place here in my work table. It looks pretty good. I found I saw that some of the uh, so these studs looks like they were untied before. I see some kind of marks. I don't know if this is. Let me see if I can zoom it. You see, it, it has like some marks. I don't think, maybe it, it, it already was fixed. And I don't know. So what I did, I bought these spare parts from uh, Rapsilla, Parsilla, and some from eBay. But what I did, I I got, got them OEM, and original, original equipment manufacturer. So I bought the barrels. Uh, the springs of a damper for my gear and and also the small pushers so let's go uh, and do this uh, hopefully you can take a good look for this one we are going to use metric wrench it's number six hopefully it's not too tight because I don't Yep, it's tight. So, it's tight. Um, pause. Okay, in order to continue, uh, what I did, I put the, the starter clutch in my wrench. I put uh, wood. So we don't damage the gear and tie it. Just enough not to rotate. Very tight. Wow. This Craftsman tools has a nice feature that you can Put it uh, through here. Like this, and then use like a, so you can do some leverage. Mm. It's too tight. So the second. I just want to lose them a little bit, then move it back to the bench or to my place. We will need this little nice uh, wood shims. So now let's continue. We're removing this one. This one. I will put it in the same position. And three. I can see some metal debris. Okay, but metal debris. We're going to remove this cover. Oh, it already popped out one. So now. So this is, this is here, this is here, and this is here. We're going to remove the assembly, the gear. So as I said, um, this barrel, barrel expand. 
So to lock the motor and then rotate and make it uh, turn uh, and start. So, <laughs> okay, I, I lost where it was, but no, no, no worries. So, Okay, so this is the way. Here's the spring. And we're going to put new ones, it doesn't matter the position. clean okay so this is the used one I think it looks good most of the time what fails is the spring but they say that uh, uh, in, in my opinion we should uh, replace them all so because it's a, such a long a lot of work so we just do it all Let's see the, the new new ones. They look the same. Let's compare one to one. Okay. Now the springs, let's see if they, they don't look too bad to me, I mean, they look like they were okay, but I don't want to mix them. Yeah, but you can see it's, uh, it's longer, so the longer I think you're going to push more. Okay, so now that we have them here, um, this is pretty similar, but still, still longer. So all of them are a bit longer, so I will, will put them apart, I don't want to mix them. And then we're going to remove the old ones, put it in a bag, and then do what we have to do. So for this one, it's already I will I will go out of, out of here and we'll put some uh, fluid here just to clean it to remove the grease
I'm cleaning this as well because it can have some some debris inside. Everything looks good. It doesn't ha look like a broken gear or something. So. I'm just getting the studs from eBay. I bought the engine cover, uh, motor starter motor uh, cover. So it's here. Okay. So what we have to do is to to put the new spring, new spring inside here, and put it through the hole that is here and there is there and then the barrels these are new make sure that it doesn't, doesn't have any plastic or something here so these are yeah the same as the other ones I didn't compare them I think it, it, it is a bit bigger let's see no it's exactly the same so it's good and these barrels may be good. So what we're going, what we are going to do is to push uh, inside. We push it. We put the the barrel. So when the, as you can see, this is outside the diameter, and when. You start the motor, or when the motor is spinning, it goes back and doesn't interfere with the circumference. I was going to say some to do something, but no. So we do the same with the other one. Also, the springs you may look them; uh, they are very similar. But the the four, the how hard they push is important. So maybe the, the these ones are worn out and doesn't have enough uh, force to move them. So. Okay, so when this motor spins, all of them retract, and when you want them to to be used for the to start it, they will block the inner shaft and make it work. So I already moved too much the the gears. I, I don't know where every stud goes. So I will make the assembly. Everything looks good. They move. You can feel the tension, which is good.
I didn't see any kind of uh, Loctite on it. Um, so, I, I'm not going to put anything. I will give the, the correct torque to it. Okay, I will go to the bench in order to to put the correct torque. Okay, now I will put put it back. Uh, I went to the manual to the specs, and it says that the starter clutch needs uh, 18 to 22 uh, foot pounds so that's what I will do so I will put the very expensive uh, tools that I have here uh, two good pieces I want to make sure that it's tight, so it doesn't move. Okay, now I have my torque meter. It's already set up. I have the, this one. The, the one. Two. Okay, so now it's torqued. I just want to make sure that this is still working. They go back. They go back. They go back freely. Okay, so let's move to the next. So this is still good, no problems. Pause. So we are back to the bike, and what I was saying about how the this work. Um, so this hub goes here, and the friction that it has against the rollers are, is important. So as now it doesn't. You see this way you you can you can do this turn no problem, but for the to go back it's free. To go the other side. Is when you do the, the the motor runs like this, and it, I'm sorry, the, the motor runs like this and runs freely. When you are going to start it, it's when everything blocks, and then you push with this. I'm trying to explain better. So when you're when the motor is is, is running, this is static, so the motor is spinning, no problem. And when you want to start it. You want to push this gear to rotate everything, so you push it. So you see, you cannot, it doesn't doesn't free, but the other way is free. So while running free, when you want to start it up, push it. And that's where, where the this make their job. So everything is in position. Everything is in position. Everything is in position free, free, and free. Okay, so chan, 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 chan. Let's do this. So we're going to put this back. We're going to be able to check this before uh, after. So. Now remember the, the how they they were. So. 
this is going to go there and now what I'm going to do I'm going to put uh, this gear here we have to make sure because that everything fits smooth because remember that the, the, the springs wants that the barrel wants to go inside maybe we, we can do it outside it is going to be easier so make sure because I didn't see this but we have a washer here so this washer goes here and then we have this we have to make sure to fit it correctly without damaging now you see it's still working pretty good when I had my starter clutch before this was spinning this way without this so that's when it didn't work so now I will make sure that it goes smooth uh, inside sorry if you cannot see very good but the space the area the room is limited here for both I don't know if I have to it doesn't fit Okay, sorry, but you're learning. So first one is good. Then the other one, make sure everything is good. You can put your fingers inside to make sure that that everything is in place. I just don't, don't want to damage the, the... I'm trying to push the the cylinders inside so I can fit the body but try again but with assembly here I don't want to damage anything no I forgot um, I'm glad I remember Ooh. sorry I will clean this to make sure that it's not a slippery Okay, now it's it. I had to make to make a way to put it inside. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Everything is so tight on motorcycles. I think the only way will be because you see how this is 
No. It doesn't fit. I'm trying to find a way. I don't know why I can put it outside and not inside. Oh, good. So what I did, I did a, a, a small slide, a, a slide. So good. Now remember that we have a bearing that I will put again there. Good. Now I will put, I will make sure the washer is good there and I will slide slowly. Oh, I made a mistake. I have it here. This is a, a no side uh, washer, so it doesn't matter. So we ma we need to make it al to align it uh, here here and in the bottom and this one so I can feel it it's good so we're, um, I need to go and pick up my my hammer So we're going to use this mallet, a small mallet, uh, just to hit slowly. It should go. We have to make sure that it's aligned. So I'm taking a look. I feel in the bottom that it's moving. Getting inside. We get in there. You can hear different noise when it's almost fully seated. So now let's feel how it's here. Okay, it's out. It needs to go a bit more. 
I want to make sure that everything looks good. You see, motor is running, it's moving, but this way it doesn't move, but this way it moves. So I think it's, everything is good. Um, just a bit more, I think, according to what I see here, it has to be flat. So now, Everything looks, looks good, it moves. That will be the starter motor. <sighs> okay, so for this session is good. We're going to continue and I will keep going. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, next I'm going to put the lock here and I will do all my cleaning of components like uh, oil pump, clutch, and I will remove also this gasket that is uh, bad. Um, okay. <laughs> 